Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to remove outliers in Excel. An important step in explanatory data analysis, or EDA, is the identification of outliers. Outliers are values in data that are extreme and far removed from the rest of the data set. Having outliers in your data set when you're trying to do an analysis can skew the data and you can get uh, results that are not correct. So it is important to identify the outliers and remove them so that they do not skew the results of your data analysis. If the data set is small, you can look at the data and try and figure out the uh, outliers or use uh, simple methods like finding the largest number or the smallest number. But if the data set is very large, uh, you can use a method such as uh, identifying the IQR or the interquartile range. So we will use this method and this can be automated in Excel. So the first step here is to find the first quartile. This we will do finding the using the quartile function which takes an array, in this case the data set, and then a number that specifies which quartile, in this case the first quartile. Then the next step is to identify the third quartile. So again, we'll take the array and specify number three because it's the third quartile. I then need to find the interquartile range, which is the third quartile minus the first quartile. So now I have the IQR. Now using this IQR, I can define an upper and a lower bound. The upper bound is the third quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. So it is the third quartile plus 1.5 into the interquartile range. This is my upper bound. And the lower bound is the first quartile minus 1.5 into the interquartile range and enter. So now I have an upper bound and lower bound. Now I'm going to compare each value uh, against these two values and whatever is either greater than the upper bound or, uh, or lesser than the lower bound can be considered an outlier. So to do this comparison, I will use the if function. Now if takes a logical test and returns a value if the test is true and another value if the test is false. Now in this test, I want to check if the value falls uh, outside the upper bound or outside the lower bound. So since there are two conditions, I will use the OR function where I can define two cases. So here, I'm the first case is whether the data is lesser than the lower bound or the second case is if the data is greater than the upper bound. So the OR function will check whether either one of these are true. So if this is true, I want it to say true. And if it is not, I want it to say false. Meaning that if it falls outside these limits, it is an outlier, otherwise it isn't, and say enter. So in this case, it is false. It is not an outlier because 16, I mean, if you look at it, does fall between these. Now, before copying this down, I need to make the upper and lower bound constant so I'll select the cell reference and press F4. Now I can copy the formula by just dragging it down. And straight away I can see my outliers are displayed. And now I want to remove them. So I will go to the data tab and say filter. And from here I'm going to filter out only true, which are the outliers. So here these are my uh, outliers. And now I will just select them and press the delete key to delete them. Now, if I uh, remove the filter, I have my data set with the outliers removed. I have just kept the rows blank here just for the sake of this example. But of course, in a proper data set, you will completely delete the row that contains the outlier. So this is how to remove outliers in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.